What's up, Trade Hackers? Today is Monday, December 9th. I wanted to talk about a few things that we're looking at this week. Uh, this is a chart of the S&P 500 SPX, and this is just a, a weekly expected move plot. And we'll release this. I'm just kind of working out a few bugs here. But basically, all this does is, you know, if you go to the Trade tab, it shows from Monday to Friday each week kind of what the expected move is. So, for example, Friday this week is December 13th, so that's four days away, um, five including today. But you can see it's got about an expected move of plus or minus 40 points. So if we go to the chart, that's all this plots, but it gives kind of a cool visual. So we've got about a plus or minus 40 points. That's kind of the expected move of the S&P the rest of this week, as you can see. Not too much movement today. You can see at the time of this recording, s and is down about five points. We've got about an hour left in the cash markets. And so it's just, it's just something good to reference. And so we'll be, we'll be sending that out with a link to, uh, to be able to load that onto your charts as well. So look for that coming up. The other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, implied volatility is getting pretty low across the board. And so if we look at, you know, some of the, the few that still have some premium in them, TLT, this is bonds. We've already got a position in ZB, but we might look to add to that later this week. You can see IV percentile is still at 75 on TLT. The other one is UNG, which is the corresponding ETF for Nat Gas. You can see IV percentile is 84. We also already have a position in the Nat Gas futures, but again, we may look to add to that as well because it's starting to hover near one side of our trade. So we may look to sell some more premium, add some premium to Nat Gas. The other thing that has some premium still to it is FXB, which is the corresponding ETF to the British pound, which is forward slash 6B is what we trade for that. And you can see IV percentile is about 60. Uh, they do, there is a Brexit vote coming up this Thursday. And so uh, look for that, look for some implied volatility contraction after that vote. I'm not sure exactly what time that vote is over there in the UK. Some of my UK trade hackers might post that in the community. I haven't followed it that close, uh, except for just trading 6B. Uh, but we could possibly get some implied volatility contraction. So if you don't have a British pound position on, it might be something for you to look at. Also, keep in mind, obviously, the implied volatility is elevated because of that uncertainty. So, of course, if something crazy happens, there could be a decent sized move that goes out of your range, but assuming there's no super surprises, could be a good profit uh, opportunity. The other thing happening this week is the Fed announcement, FOMC. Let me bring this over here. If you Google Fed Watch tool, that's where I look at this, and basically this is showing the meeting on Wednesday, December 11th, and it has a probability of 99.3% chance of no change, so no cut no increase in the rates. Uh, everything should stay the same. Now, having said that, if the Fed does make a surprise and, and cut rates or something like that, then we could definitely see some market movement on Wednesday. That announcement happens at 1 p.m. Central Time. But assuming the Fed doesn't come up with any rabbits out of his hat and sticks with, uh, sticks with the plan, uh, we, we should see no movement in the overall Fed rates. So that's Wednesday. The other thing happening Wednesday is uh, another earnings announcement, Lululemon. There's usually some good premium in Lulu. Uh, so we will probably be putting on an earnings trade in Lulu. It's been on a nice tear to the upside. Implied volatility is nice and high. So look for that. We did put on a earnings trade, not in our alerts portfolio, but I posted this in the community in AutoZone. And the reason we didn't do it as an official alert is you can see here, I mean, the open interest is just pretty sparse. You know, a lot of these contracts, there's only one contract of open interest. So not an official alert. We did get filled in on a trade in our personal account, uh, put on an iron duck. Uh, you can see prices hanging out right here. We've got about, a, I think it was a $55 expected move. Yeah, about a $55 expected move. And so, and that's between now and the end of the week. So if you look at where it's at now, 1170, you go down to about right here, you know, if it stays within its expected move, we could hit a nice duck head to the downside. And then, of course, if it rips higher, we have no risk and we'll we'll book a small beak profit. So that's what we've got in AutoZone. So that's all. That's what I'm really looking at the rest of this week. There are some other earnings announcements on Thursday as well, which we'll touch on later this week. 
Hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let us know.